you have a question. Kendall, what impressions have you gotten from Coach Bobo with him stepping up? And uh, there's a lot of speculation about you guys as far as how much more you might run the football. Um, what do you think about what this run game will look like with Coach Bobo calling the plays? Yeah, I'm definitely excited to uh, you know partake in this office with Coach Bobo. Um, just seeing what he's put on in the past, just seeing the success that running backs have had in his offense, it just makes me excited. It makes me want to, you know. Just you know, go out there and just just keep balling out. Just keep working hard because the opportunity is on the table. Um, for me, I feel like I've seen that. Just seeing how much he's ran the ball and the stats in his past offenses. So you know, I'm excited for this year. I'm excited not just for myself, but for the whole offense to be able to go out there one last time and be able to have fun with the guys. Hey, Kendall. Uh, so far, how much uh, similarities have you seen in, in the verbiage? I guess with what Coach Bobo is doing and what Coach Munkin did the past few seasons. Yeah, Coach Bobo, he already's made it. Um, he already made it clear to us that he's going to do everything to kind of you know keep everything where it's understandable for the players. You know, we have new players coming in, players returning, and at the end of the day, we want to make it to where you know everybody can understand the offense and there won't be confusion when it comes to you know relaying plays or you know understanding them. So he's definitely kept us similarities, but you know at the end of the day, every year you have to change up a little certain things so it doesn't become predictable or you know certain calls don't become recognizable. So. You know, I feel like there will be a lot of things that kind of stay the same, but at the end of the day, you know, the changes that need to be made will be made. Yeah, Kendall, what have you seen from uh, Carson over the past couple of months just as he kind of takes over that, um, you know, the oldest guy in the quarterback room and the guy that, that is going to be competing for a starting job this spring? Yeah, Carson, really the things that he's shown me are the things that he's kind of showed me the past years that we've been here. I've always known that he was a really smart player. I've seen him being able to – dissect the offense and kind of know everybody's job and being able to break it down to a receiver, a certain break in their routes or, you know, footwork of a running back. So I'm definitely excited to uh, play with Carson because I know that he knows the offense in and out. And, you know, I've seen how hard he works. You know, the quarterback is a tough position because it's not like you're going to rotate all the time or, you know, get the opportunities right away. But he stayed down and worked his butt off since we ever since we got here. So I'm excited to see him get the opportunities that he deserves. Kendall, Kirby said that Brock Vandergriff would also be splitting snaps with the first team. Can mm -hmm. you tell us more about him? We haven't mm -hmm. seen him as much in the games. Mm -hmm. Brock Vandergriff, he's he's almost the same way. He's very a very smart player, but the one thing about Brock, Brock, you know, he surprised me a little bit. Those legs, you know, they'll, they'll catch you by surprise, and Brock can move, but he also has that arm as well. So, you know, I'm excited to see just go through the spring, go through the fall, just being able to see the guys battle it out. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm comfortable with both of them at the end of the day. They're both, I've seen them both make big plays. I've seen them both, you know, show that they understand the offense. So I'm excited to, you know, just go out there and, you know, play with whoever's out there. Kendall, how big is it for this team that Cedric is coming back and that you guys have a, a center like that and a veteran that's been around as long as he has? Oh, it, it means the world to this team. Um, me and Cedric, we actually live like across the hall from each other. So, you know, during that time, I was, you know, we, we would have little talks and, you know, I knew what he wanted, and he knew what he wanted at the end of the day, too. So, you know, he wanted the opportunity just to leave one last mark and just go out with a bang. And I'm excited because he's also one of those players that, you know, he makes my job easier when he's down there giving the points and, you know, giving the pass protections or giving the points for the linemen for the, for the run blocking. You know, he makes my job easier because he makes it clear for the offense. And having somebody like him, you know, kind of leading the offensive line and everything like that, it just, you know, makes everything go way more smooth and it allows players to play more comfortably. Kendall, thanks to NIL, uh, uh, a lot of you guys are able to have nice cars and, and, and money for gas to put in them. Uh, how much of uh, talk has there been about sort of, you know, car safety, uh, yeah. speeding, all that kind of stuff before um, the tragedy of January 15th and, and, and has that been ramped up since then? Yeah, it's definitely been a focal point and, you know, just, you know, around the area, Coach Smart has definitely made it a point that we have to make, be smarter and make smart decisions because, you know, behind the wheel, you know, you really have no uh, control of, you know, what happens. And even since the tragic event that happened, it kind of just, you know, that literally just put it on a pedestal that, like, everybody around the facility, not even just uh, football players, just everybody, like, you have to be more conscious on the decisions you make behind the wheel. And I feel like that's something that, you know, 
it was, it was really a wake up call to the team because you know everybody makes mistakes and everybody kind of has that that uh, that mindset that like they don't think that it'll happen to them. But when you see when it happens to somebody that's close to you and it happens to you know situations that are that hit close to home, it makes you kind of take a reflection on yourself and make better decisions for yourself. So I feel like as a team we are like we put in our head that you know we have to make a difference, we have to make a change. And at the end of the day on this campus, I would say the football team has a big influence on, you know, just the student body and, you know, certain things that happen in that aspect. So I feel like, you know, we take we take the change, we make we make it known that, you know, we're, we're doing what's right. I feel like it'll have an impact just across the campus. Kendall, what are your early impressions of Roderick Robinson and what he's bringing in this running back room? Yeah, Roderick, he came in at, I think he came in at like 240 pounds, something like that. And, you know, walking through the facility, I always tell him, hey, bro, you're going to be a fullback, you keep eating. But, you know, he's going to be he's gonna be a great player just seeing him. He, he has the ability, he can still run with his weight. He's a strong player. You know, he's he can make those cuts. And, you know, same thing like me, when I came in as a running back, you just have to be able to, you know, get comfortable learning the schemes and learning the – the, the pass pro and learning, you know, the different blitzes and, you know, just learning different stuff that, you know, comes with being a running back in such a high talented office. So I'm, I'm excited, especially him being, you know, from California and everything. I'm excited to, you know, see him come here and leave his mark. You had a strong finish after you sort of came back from your mid-year injury last year. Coming back as a senior, what are you looking to get out of this season? This season, I would say a big thing is being able to just go through the season and maintain my health. I would say that's kind of one of the biggest points. And, you know, this offseason, I've focused on, you know, rehab and things like that. I've made that a, uh, I made that of high emphasis. And, you know, really this season, I just want to go out there and just have fun. Just one last ride, go out there and have fun. Because I feel like, you know, if we go out there as a team and we're continuously having fun, I feel like the results will be on the table. You know, everything that happens, it'll speak for itself. And, you know, I'm just excited to have one last ride with my brothers. Kendall, you were one of the players that had a lot of options, whether it was going pro or other programs interested in you, certainly. What is that like now versus maybe earlier in your career? I mean, I, I don't know if wild's the right word, but yeah. it seems like with all the transfers and NILs, there's just a lot of stuff swirling. How do you manage that, and how complex has that gotten for football players? Yeah, I, I feel like it's definitely something that's hard to manage, but to me, it's only as hard as you make it. I knew what... I want out of, you know, by the time that I leave Georgia, uh, I know that I wanted to get my degree from Georgia. Uh, you know, you put in all this work for something that, you know, shows power and shows, you know, has importance when it comes to the real world. So I wanted to finish out and, you know, I wanted to finish out with the brothers that I came in with. And, you know, we work every day and we put everything on the line, everything on the table. So just being able to come in and come out with a bang, I would say that's something that's super big to me. And, you know, conversations with Kenny last year, that was stuff that was big to him. So, you know, just being able to go out there and just leave it a bang and, you know, kind of just make one last mark, I would say that's, that was big to me. And like you said, the options were there. There was lots of options to either, you know, go somewhere else or, you know, take my chances going pro. But, you know, I felt like there was a lot more on the table when it came to finishing out here at Georgia. You know, what have you seen from Andrew since he got hurt? Just, you know, his work ethic, the things he's been doing to try to get his way back? Yeah, lately I, I've really been seeing a different grind coming from Andrew, just seeing him in the conditioning. And, you know, over spring break we were sending videos in of us working out and stuff and just seeing, you know, the grind he was on, you kind of saw that it was like he had a mindset to come back and he had a mindset not just to come back but to come back stronger than he was before. So just seeing him, you know, have that – confidence and have that that hunger in him it just makes me happy for him because I saw the work he was putting in you know during fall camp and everything last year you know he, he's a great back and you know when his time when his time is here he's gonna do some great things on the field and I'm excited for him and I'm excited for his recovery Hey, Kendall. Um, what has it been like the last couple months just in terms of the mental health of the team? Coach Smart mentioned that he had brought some folks in mm -hmm. to kind of help you guys through this. And I know now it's kind of it's back to football, but there's still a lot mm -hmm. that you guys are grappling with. Yeah, it's definitely something that's tough to deal with because, you know, I've had this conversation with my family. Uh, me personally, I've never experienced any type of like loss really close to my age or, you know, somebody that was a friend or, you know, somebody that I saw like every single day. So, 
you know, going through that whole aspect, it was definitely tough. And after the season, it kind of took away like light from the from the national championship, and it put all the focus on those situations because you know that that's what was you know most important in the moment, and it still is most important. And you know, praying for the families and everything that goes into that. And you know, right now we're just focused on uh, kind of just moving forward, doing everything in a way that you know would be right for you know the two that have passed, and you know. We as a team, certain when we're not doing the right thing or we're not upholding the standard, you know, Coach Smart, he'll tell us, like, we say do it for Dev. We have to actually, you know, put it into action or else it's, it's just words. So, you know, I feel like we've turned it into uh, – we turned it into kind of making it motivation to uphold the standard because we know that Devin was somebody that he came in day in, day out, whether if it was hard or easy, he had the same attitude, he came into work. So that's something that we kind of want to, you know, we want to keep his legacy going by, you know, maintaining the same principles that he did. Got time for one more if anyone else has one. Okay, Campbell, thank you. I appreciate you.